What up? It's your boy King Dow two two five coming at you with another reactionary video. So hit that like, subscribe, and become part of the channel. Yeah, it's Red Pill, Red Pill, Red Pill. Shout out to I am Shalakemia. You know I like her. I just hope and pray she ain't no reverse Derrick Jackson out here. You know a chameleon. But I truly believe she believes. And what she says, she's a good ally to, you know, the coming together. This is not about men or women. This is about men and women coming together to get back on one accord. That's what I feel like Manosphere is about and Red Pill. So to have female allies, you know what I'm saying, that's speaking the truth out here, man, it's truly appreciated. Shout out to I Am Shut. Shalakemia. Man, listen, I'm sorry. I hate when people fuck up my name, too. You know, everybody referred to me as King. I consider myself as King. That's who I am. But my name is Dallander. You know what I'm saying? I know motherfuckers being butchering my name, so if I butcher your name, I truly apologize. But listen, man, this is the example. This video here, man, I wish this dog would just stop. Sorry about the noise of the background. Man, this is the prime example of what I be talking about, about female toxicity within the black community, specifically in my community. Like, when I say homophobia is more of a female thing within my community than male thing, when it comes to male, it's males. It's more about shame and um, embarrassment than than uh being afraid of being a hom uh, 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 homophobia true homophobia because a lot of dudes be like you know we got a large percentage of dls within our community they are ashamed of being who they truly are what makes them ashamed is generally be women you know what i'm saying because any action is all a man is always his actions are always question, not logically, but oh, he must be gay. Why? You always question the manhood when it comes to black women and within the black community. It's that's just a tactic to try to control a man to do what they want. It's manipulative too. That's the true homophobia within our community. The shame. So a dude really is that way. He too ashamed to be that way because. He done been strange. Let's listen to this shit. Y'all know that, man. That just sound weird, strange, King. But listen to this caller. Listen to this female caller. No sympathy for me at all. One, two, three, two, two out of potty train. But you mean to tell me as a full grown black woman going through his friends of a full black grown man that had the necessary steps at home before he left the nest. How you know he had the necessary yeah. steps, Terry? Yeah, how you know he had the necessary steps? Nine times out of ten, he was raised in the same single parent home that most of you females are raised in. And trust me, there's a lot of deficits when it comes to I am one. I was raised in a single mother home. I recognize I can sit in here and look in the mirror and say the shit that if I'd have had a dad around would have been different than me. And as a, a man who raised a daughter, I can see, okay, if your mama would have been around, shit would have been different with her too. Let's continue. Baby. It's, I'm it's asking you. Right now, listen. If, they, if I can have a grown man right now tell me in my face, "Oh, I ain't have a mother in my life, but my uncle was dead." No matter what kind of uncle that was, he had some type of fucked up role model that it could have taught, taught him better. He had a fucked up role model that could have taught him better. That's what I feel like. Even I, I feel like that. Terry. Like that. <laughs> I don't care. He had a. He had a. No sympathy. Even if he ain't had no mom and he had a fucked up uncle around, he could have taught it better. Like, come on, bro. No sympathy. That's why I be talking about, like, my channel is for my community, but specifically 
the underserved within my community, which is the young black males. This is what this lady, this is probably a black mother saying, there's no sympathy for black men, okay? I don't give a fuck if he didn't have a mammy. If he had a fucked up uncle around, he should have taught him better. Like, bro, with nobody ever. Like, oh my God, she didn't have a mother or a father. Let's sympathize with her. She should have, like, built in excuses, but a man, no excuses. Role model in his life, right? They was messed up on that. That should have been able to teach that man the road. Terry, I wasn't. All, all okay, so let me tell you something. Get and grow up traumatized. Nobody said that. Nobody, said that. Nobody said that. Nobody said that though. Grow up traumatized. Nobody said I'm that. Sorry. Nobody said that. But you know, you saying that is just like telling a woman you haven't been raped. Hmm. You're no, lying about no, being raped. You can't sit up here and say, um, you can't sit up here and say that. Nobody's saying every black man has been traumatized. But exactly. you know what? Some have though, Terry. I've had one cries on my shoulder to have, have been raped and molested by women in their family. Tell them that. Tell them that. You can't, you can't sit up and discredit. You can't discredit. Now, here you come. Now, watch what this caller say. The ones that are traumatized, though. You can't sit up and discredit the ones that have been. So, so a black man come to you. So a black man come to you and tell you he been molested when he was little, and the first thing you gonna say he's bisexual. Yeah, you bisexual. There it is, and that's what it, that's how that's where it truly still. I'm telling you, bro. I keep posing this question. This is how men and women view. Homosexuality within the black community. Ask a man how he feels about a woman having a relationship with another woman. And his his opinion gonna be good, whatever. And when it comes to do, he probably have a stronger opinion, but at the end of the day, he gonna be like, mm, whatever. I don't think I'll fuck with me. Or average dude. They do have these extreme guys out here, but I be feeling like they DLs, like if you care that much about what another nigga doing, then you got a motherfucking problem. See, that's how I feel. I don't care what you're doing in your bedroom. But you ask a woman how she feels about if a man had a relationship with another man. In her mind, he can't never be, he ain't gonna never like women. He just G A Y. And he in that group fell. No such thing as bi within the black community. Point blank, period. Men are literally and actually more accepted of homosexuality than women within our community. Let's be clear about this shit. Let's be honest. Like, y'all like to point out the most extreme cases of men voices their pain for the most part a dude really don't give a shit about what another dude doing long as you ain't fucking with me but a woman it is just like it's different bro it's different it's different that's true something ain't right with you now i'm not just saying that it's, it was wrong that's a slap it No, why would free. you know it's wrong for you as a black woman to tell him or to even speak and say he's bisexual because see, would, because see, of his I would trauma? Tell him, I would speak in my thoughts, Abby. That's what I say. I said I would speak in my thoughts, Abby. Like, yeah. Yeah, because in your mind, it's set. That's the point. See, even if they don't say U-G-A-Y, they whole mannerism, they whole body language, they whole thought is okay. This is what it is. And that side's going to be. You can't change their mind. To me, you bisexual. 
Terry, Terry, I say this with all love. You're the problem. You are the problem, Terry. You're the problem. Even for you to sit up and think after, let me tell you how, let me tell you how hard it is for black men to sit up and even tell somebody they've been sexually abused and you and your head judging them, talking about they bisexual. Mm. That's their trauma. That's not even nothing funny. Do you know how many men? Men are not allowed to have trauma. We supposed to suck it up and deal with it. On, on a daily come to me. They have never told nobody that somebody, a, a man in their family was molesting them. A woman in their family was molesting them. You wouldn't handle, you wouldn't handle a black woman like that if she told you she was raped and she was molested. You wouldn't think, oh, she's gay. You can't say I wouldn't because none of the I would. Cherry. That's my thought, though. You get what I'm saying? Cherry. I sit back, I listen, and I'll, I'll, I'll observe. You're the problem. Observe, You're the problem. The it's not my content. No, it's you. My, it's something. It's something inside of you that's wrong. No. Take I care. So. <laughs> I, that pissed me off. That pissed me off. That that pissed my whole day off. Those are the kind of mindsets I'm sitting up and talking about. I'm not, I can be accepting somebody coming to me and somebody telling me, Shalakimi, you wrong or you contradicted yourself. Or, I can, I can, listen, if, I, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I promise you that. But that right there pissed me off. Because I know how hard it is for black men out here. I know how hard it is for the ones that have been sexually assaulted. Hmm. I they do. can't even talk about you know why men do not talk they always say bro thank you god i was lucky enough to never have to deal with that kind of trauma because i i i've had discussion see that's why i'm so open mind i had discussion with homosexual dudes and females like i'm not the nigga like mm, stay away from me Ooh, i'm gonna kiss that like even if i don't agree with you i i view everybody's humans bro everybody have a right Everybody been through some shit. Everybody had trauma. And nine times out of ten, if you have a conversation with a homosexual dude or even a chick, uh, uh, most of the time a chick be in the streets when they got trauma that they need to deal with. But a homosexual dude, nine times out of ten, I'm not saying all of them, but something traumatic happened to them. And I always say, man, I'm so fucking blessed. That right, welcome back. to welcome go back through the the things that I I went through experience and the family that I had to protect me from certain things. You know what I'm saying? I was protected. Thank you. Being sexually assaulted because they don't want to be looked at as gay. If a man come and say, My uncle, my brother, whoever was molesting me, mm. he already knowing his head, people are going to think I'm gay. So yep. I'm not going to say nothing. I'm going to walk around for 15 years and have it bottled up inside and never ever tell nobody that I was molested. I can't make this up. Y'all heard it for yourself. I can't make this up. I can't. So this is a question that All right. That's crazy. But that's a, that's an example. Terry is, is an example of how a, a black woman would handle a black man's trauma. She's not the example for everybody because all black women are not like that. I agree. All black women are not like that. But a large portion of single mothers and all, I got to all toughen my child up. Uh, do not emotionally, and I, I'm not no consolation prize type ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? I believe winners and losers. You know, I ain't no pussy. You feel me? So I don't, you ain't got to call your emo, no fucking boys. But like, it's different. It's different. We didn't been coached, but a coach can convey that he cared without just being an authoritarian. Authoritarian, you know what I'm saying? It's just different. I guess that's how it's different between a man and a woman. You know how a father, parents, a child. Like even though he's disciplinarian and he strict, you know your father loves you. 
Like, it's just different when dad ain't around. Like, and women be thinking this fucked up shit too, bro. But I ain't gonna sit here and say all women. Like I said, a lot of women don't think like that. But a lot of women do. But there are some black women out there like Carrie. I can't even believe she just said that on live. Sure, I... I appreciate you, uh, Charlotte Kavia. You, know, you kind of make me thirsty too. Like any woman who, you know, any woman, specific, especially black women, who cares about black men is very attractive to me. So this is your boy King Down 225 with another reactionary video. Hit that like, subscribe, and come part of the kingdom. I gotta go back to my You know what I'm saying? The one doing April Tax. Tax training class. You know what I'm saying? You would notice it by looking at me, but I am a tax professional, been preparing taxes for the last 13 years, so you know. I all I'm telling you, I'm more compl complex than what I appear. You know, I, I, I'm king out here. You know what I'm saying? Eagle Eye Tax Solutions. They always make sure you are fucking well trained. Give y'all that taste of this shit. <laughs> We as a company, we kind of saw this coming before, uh, beforehand. I don't want to give y'all too much because you know what I'm saying. <laughs> this, this is a black-owned company. One day I'm going to spotlight them. I'm going to try to get them their own motherfucking podcast. Shout out to Eagle Eye Tax Solutions. Black-owned tax company. Doing legitimate taxes and helping out the community. Owned and operated by a fucking married couple. Like when I, like when I be out here talking about the shit that I observed, like, I observe bad relationships and I observe good ones. You know what I'm saying? To see a married couple so successful. I'm talking about successful. And black minded and helping the community. Yeah, motherfucker, I know millionaires. Black on. This is your boy, King Down 265. Let me get back to class. Hit that like, subscribe, become part of the camera. You know what I'm saying? But they start asking questions and I ain't paying attention. Oh, she didn't put my hand down.